Hello teacups, welcome back to my channel. It is currently, I actually don't know what time it is. I just know that it's very late. I think, it, well, I think it's like 11 o'clock-ish. Anyway, I am finally filming this vlog. I actually did film a little bit earlier, but um, I'm finally filming an intro to this vlog. So basically earlier I went to Barnes and Noble and it was the best like weather for going to the bookstore. It was really rainy and really cozy. I picked up quite a few things, so I'm really excited to share that haul with you. But before we get into all of that, I'm gonna make some coffee. And yeah, I know it's it's the middle of the night, but um, I just find so much comfort in coffee. Does anybody else? Like, is that weird? I don't know. Oh, and I got some new coffee creamer and I'm really excited to try that, so. Okie dokie, oh, um. <laughs> They are still in the dishwasher. <laughs> I need to get my life together. <laughs> it's fine. Oh, I need to put some water in here. What am I doing? Yikes. <laughs> oh, I forgot to show you guys something. I picked this up at Target. It's a little book stand and I've been looking for one of these for so long. I have this Eat Smart by Naomi Smart cookbook on display. I love that cookbook because it is a plant-based cookbook and I have recently become a vegetarian and this is my second week as a vegetarian and so that cookbook has been really good as far as like giving me ideas on what to eat and what to snack on. But yeah, it's been really good, so pretty happy about that. Oh, and I want to show you the new coffee creamer I got. It's the Natural Bliss Oat Milk Creamer. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys what I picked up at the bookstore today. Actually, you know what? Before I do that, I'm going to put on something cozy. I just feel like being very cozy today since it's been like all rainy and stuff. We got our coffee, which by the way, this creamer is Amazing, 1010 would recommend. And we got our cozy sweatshirt on. This sweatshirt is um, my friend Mindy Minx's merch. It says, hi and bye and i love it so much if you don't know who mindy is she is my gryffindor friend here on youtube i absolutely adore her and her husband larry so i'll have her channel linked down below but anyway we got our sweats on and um we're just gonna talk about some books and stuff so i have quite the variety i have fiction non-fiction and i even have some poetry because i kind of want to get into poetry and i also think it'll be really good to have some poetry books for the Newt's Readathon in August, which if you don't know about that readathon, I'll have that linked down below. But basically like a really quick summary, it is a readathon created by G from Book Rose. It is designed to make you feel like you're taking your nastily exhausting wizarding tests at Hogwarts. So I 
am going for the herbology professor position so I have to read seven books so that's quite a lot in a month at least for me um, so I think having poetry books will kind of help me like get through my TBR but I'm also just really excited to kind of delve into poetry because I think I'm really gonna like it. So the first poetry book I got is Love Her Wild by Atticus. I first heard about this poet through Pinterest actually and I also really love how there are some really artsy black and white photos throughout this book. Um, and then I also got The Sun and Her Flowers by Rupi Kaur. Um, this is like a wildly popular poetry book and I thought it looked very Hufflepuff on the cover. And then there are also some really cool illustrations throughout the story or the, I, I don't know, I guess it's kind of a story, right? <laughs> so here's some little little illustrations. It's gonna be really hard not to read those till August, but I'll do my best. Um, and then I picked up this book. I thought this was so cute. It says, How to Houseplant. This is a beginner's guide to making and keeping plant friends. So this is definitely like a very Hufflepuff book and it's kind of like a little like herbology textbook. And um, I had someone ask in the comments why I don't have more real plants. The reason why I don't have more real plants is because I don't know too much about like other plants. So this will help me become more knowledgeable. And this is so cute and it has has two parts to the book so part one is plant care basics and it literally just goes through all the basics like watering your plants like how much sunlight they need um, and it even talks about which plants are toxic to animals which is really important and then part two it is plant profiles so it goes through all of the different plants and then it tells you how to become their friend and how to take care of them and um, I just think it's so cute and I'm really excited to become more knowledgeable on um, building my plant family. And then I picked up um, Own Your Every Day by Jordan Lee Dooley and this is um, to overcome the pressure to prove and to show up for what you were made to do. And as I was reading about this book, it talks about like dealing with perfectionism and I struggle with that so bad. I've just been like so hard on myself. So um, I think this will be um, exactly what I need right now. And then I got The Quiet Rise of Introverts. This is eight practices for living and loving in a noisy world. <laughs> so I am definitely an introvert and sometimes that is really frustrating because um, for the longest time I really wanted to change that about myself and I wished that I were more loud and outgoing but I'm slowly learning my strengths as an introvert and I think that I don't know I'm kind of embracing the fact that I am more of like a gentle soul and like I don't think it's a bad thing and so this kind of just helps you find your balance between your inner and outer worlds and it just helps you live as your authentic self. And so I'm I'm super excited for that one. Um, and then the last book I picked up, this is a young adult contemporary. This is called This Time Will Be Different. And I'm not entirely sure how to pronounce the author's name, uh, Misa Sugiura. And this was one of those books where it was like bookstagram made me buy it kind of thing because I saw it on bookstagram. And so I decided to check it out. And I read the first chapter at Barnes & Noble and I could already tell that I really liked her writing style so um, I'm excited to uh, discuss this one with you guys um, oh and I got a little Funko Pop <laughs> this is my little Thestral and I think he's so cute and I love his little tail <laughs> um, I decided to name him Atlas and he is gonna go on my bookshelf next to my Luna Lovegood Funko Pop. So yeah, that is everything I picked up and I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and I will see you again soon. Thanks for watching, bye.